Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. So today I have another very exciting, exciting addition to my uh, subscriber PO Box unboxing series. So this will be the third video in that series uh, where I unbox some figures that were sent to me by a wonderful friend of mine, obviously friend and subscriber to Gwen Collects. Um, they gave me one hint about this package and that is that there is a binding figure in here which like I already want to cry with how generous that is like what what so I'm super excited I have no idea what's inside this huge Ami Ami box fun fact I've actually never personally received a 160 size Ami Ami box which is what they shipped this package in <laughs> look how massive this is it takes up like the entire screen oh my god so I've actually yeah never gotten one this big so that's kind of cool I don't know I'm pretty excited about that <laughs> so uh I am really 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 excited to see what is in this box I'm gonna put it off to the side because it is so freaking massive like I can't even hold it and unbox it properly so I'm gonna put it off to the side here and kind of unbox to the side and then I have my little tiny table that's way too small for these videos but whatever it's fine <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyway, I am super super excited to unbox this. Thank you so much to the wonderful person that wishes to remain anonymous that sent this to me. Um, I'm so beyond excited. I can't wait to message you after this. We're in. Okay. Uh, gosh, I can see the figures in there. Holy shit. What? Okay, there's a lot of tissue paper. What? Oh my god. Okay. I'm already like crying, bro. What? Okay. Okay, so there's a little note. Oh my goodness. I kick it out of this cute packaging. Ah, I'm already shaking. If you guys can't tell. Okay. So there is a note here. So I will read. Oh, look at that little. Look at it's got the cutest little uh, vanilla sticker on it. That's so cute. I don't want to rip her. No, I can't decapitate her. No, you guys. I don't want to decapitate the vanilla. Okay, I have a note here. Okay. So, hi Gwen Collects. Uh, I've been watching and loving your content for a while now. I've also bought certain figs because of you. <laughs> I hope you can enjoy the two scales and one Nendo. One has been on your wish list, the other isn't. The Nendo is just super cute. I just had to include her. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. And then there are these cute little like oh these little prints so there's one uh of a cover probably of a, the shoujo manga that uh maid sama was published in uh a really really cute um toilet bound hana cocoon one and a little ray i love it i'll definitely put these up on my new artboards behind me uh and then there is one other envelope here 
<gasps> okay, this is kind of a spoiler for the binding figure. This is the, the postcard that came with it. I think I'm gonna wait to show you guys. I can't believe what she sent me. I literally cannot believe it. And it fits so well with my collection. <laughs> oh my God. I, uh, uh, I'm literally speechless. Okay. Uh, and then some super, super, super cute little stickers. So there's this cutie right here. Um, I'll put B-roll if these are not in focus at all. This cutie right here. I don't think they're in focus at all. And this cutie right here. Love it. Okay. And I managed to not decapitate vanilla in the process. Okay, so I'm gonna save the binding figure for last and show you guys the scales. I am so excited, oh my god. Okay, first thing in the box. My boyfriend is literally gonna lose his mind when he sees this. So, the first thing they got me is the Pokemon Center Lily figure. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh, oh no. okay, I'll talk about it. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you so much. I. Ah, okay, do we open her up? Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, this is a chill unboxing. I'm so, I'm just like, I really wanna show you guys everything. I'm literally shook. I've been wanting this figure for so long, like since I started my collection. And I actually got my first Pokemon figure, Marnie, the other day. So this is like so perfect. Um, but this figure was really expensive and that's why I didn't buy it. So thank you. Like what? <gasps> She's so cute. Okay. I don't know if there's any assembly required. It doesn't look like it. And inside the box, oh. We have Miss Lily. This is my favorite Pokemon figure of all time. Um, this is one that came out before I even started collecting. And when I started in the hobby, it was already ridiculously expensive. Um, and it's been on my wish list for the entire time that I have been collecting because I have always wanted it really really bad i just could never bring myself to pay the prices for it this is so generous so here she is i'll put some b-roll in i love lily's character design so so much i think she's just the sweetest most beautiful girl like, she's just so wholesome and cute i love her so so much her base is so pretty too the like gold like floral along the base is just absolutely stunning. I love like her little dress and oh, and I love how like, I think this is Kotobukiya, it definitely is. I love how they're able to capture motion so well in their figures, especially this one, like the way her hat's kind of blowing and her hair and like Cosmog's coming out. And it really looks like he's like floating beside her even though he's like attached to the, um, the bag, which I love. Um, oh my God. I'm so in love with her. Thank you so much. She's so cute. I love her little, like, little face and her pose is just stunning. I can't wait to put her next to Marnie. This is like the most perfect timing for this figure. Um, and I don't think there's any way this person could have known that I had gotten Marnie. So it's really, that's such a cute coincidence that I now have two of the Pokemon figures that I've always, always, always wanted in my collection. I can't wait to call my boyfriend and tell him that I got Lily, because he's a huge Pokemon fan, so he's gonna be like absolutely hyped. Okay. I'm gonna put this away. I see my camera's getting close to dying, which is dangerous. I have a second battery, so I might have to go switch to that. So it might die any second now. While I put this away, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. We're back, the camera is no longer dead. We're back, okay. <laughs> now on to the next. So the next thing in this box is this very cute Nendoroid. So this is the Foreigner Katsushika Hokusai Nendoroid, which I absolutely love this Nendoroid. Um, I've seen it and I know there's a fat company scale of this figure. This is such a stunning Nendo. Like, oh my, like look how cute the, ah! Look at this little like squid pose in the back. Oh my God. 
You were right. Um, this is such a cute underwrite. I'm so excited to have it. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her like paintbrush thing. And, like look at all the detail in the hair sculpt. Oh my God. I'm not gonna open this up because it's just always a mess to open Nendoroids on a chill unboxing, but I will put B-roll of this Nendoroid because it is so freaking adorable. I see your little, excuse me. I see your little, bleh. I see her little squid in there and it's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, I love her. She's so cute too. Okay. And now for the moment of truth. I can't even imagine. Like, this must have been so expensive. Oh my god. If you know binding figures, I'm sure you gasp gasped when you saw this box. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Okay. As I was saying, if you are a fan of binding figures, I'm sure you absolutely gasped when you saw this box. I even match it. Like, I did not, like, I obviously didn't know um, what it was. So that's pretty cool that I, like, match it. Holy shit. This figure is a stunning figure. I know this one. Uh, the person that sent me this said this was their second favorite binding figure, I believe, and they wanted me to also have it. They didn't specify like which figure it was, they just said it was their second favorite, so. Yeah, um, wow. So this is the, the figure here in the box. The box is absolutely stunning. This is gonna match my casino theme so well. She's gonna look so good with uh, Yumeko and Yui. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I'm literally gonna cry. I'm surprised I haven't yet, actually. I've, been, I've managed to keep it together. I feel like I'm just so excited that, like, I've been able to keep it together. I love how binding packages are- Oh, I just heard something move inside the box there. That was, I didn't like that sound. Oh my God. Her shoes are so cute. So when you get a binding figure, you get, oh, you might be able to see the box. You get a very nice um, view upon opening. Uh, <laughs> that I definitely cannot show on my channel. <laughs> so I'm going to... I don't even know what to do. You probably can't see that well. It's probably fine. And I must say, of the two, because I know there's a matching, uh, another character that goes with this one, uh, this is the one I love of the two, so I'm extremely excited about this. Holy oh, shit. She's stunning. Um, and I have been dying to get a binding figure of a character of a darker skin tone, so like a POC character. I, uh, I've talked about this on my channel before, but I really, really love, um, like darker skin figures. Um, and I really think that we need to encourage the Japanese market to create more diverse, uh, skin tones in their characters. So I'm very, very, very excited to have finally a a character of color in my collection. Well, I have a few, but um, in my bunny collection, I'm really excited. Oh my god. I think she's an animal girl. I didn't even know that. Okay. Perfecto. Now, I don't know how I want to censor this. I think I'm just gonna put, because you can censor her top, so I'm just gonna put the censored pieces on and then I'll be able to actually show you guys the whole figure. Unlike my Yui binding figure unboxing where there was no option to um, censor her, here we got an option, so that is good. <laughs> okay, so uh, we got some instructions, a lot of instructions, I think What's the difference between these two? Did they just accidentally put two of the same ones in? I feel like they just put two of the same instructions in. Oh my god, she's so stunning. I'm so fucking excited. Oh 
literally could cry. <laughs> Who could imagine me crying over like lewd plastic? Like, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, wow. So she's actually not a bunny girl. I think she's a cat. Um, I'll have to look into the... Because I believe this is like an actual character and not just like an OC. I could be wrong though. Oh my god. Here's the back while I put her um, pieces on. Holy shit. She is absolutely gorgeous. So she has like pieces with zippers on them and a tail. So let's do the zipper pieces. So these are the uh, breast coverings. <laughs> I don't know which goes on which. Are they labeled at all? No. Nope. We just figured it out for ourselves, I guess. Um, okay, the one with the wonk, not wonky. Oh, I get it. Cause the zippers have to like hang down, if that makes sense. I see. That's so cool. Okay. I may need to like tilt her so that you guys can, or so that I can get these in. So you guys might get a flash. So I might have to edit some parts of this out. This is like one of the most stunning figures I've ever seen in my life. I'm like so eager to just pause the video right now and like go message them about how excited I am about this. Like that's how excited I am right now. These zippers make it spooky as hell to put these on. I think we're just gonna leave it like that. It's not quite fully in. But I'm really scared of paint transfer and it's good enough. Okay, the top is on the figure. Oh my God, okay. I'm literally shook. I'm so shook right now. I, uh, I can't believe it, okay. Um, I gotta take the panties off to get the plastic off. Her socks, like all the details on her are so stunning. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is like, this is amazing. This is absolutely the most incredible gift. Thank you so, so much, like. You guys are just so generous and like, I love this hobby. I, I just, I don't know you, everyone in this hobby has just been so kind to me from like the very beginning. Like, I think the reason that I love figure collecting as much as I do is just that like, everyone in this hobby is just so accepting and kind. Um, like the communities I've joined are just some of the coolest people I've ever talked to. And I love how everyone just comes from such different diverse backgrounds and lifestyles and I've met people from all over the world that collect figures and we can all bond over our love of lewd plastic together. <laughs> and I just love it so much. Um, I've made so many cool friends too. Like it's just so neat uh, to be part of this online community. So I thank you all so much for welcoming me into this community. And I think we need to continue to be just such a cool welcoming community to everyone. Wow, that is a nice sculpt. I'm not sure if you guys know, but I am myself a bit of a, um, what should I call it? Maybe a coochie connoisseur. <laughs> My new official title, Gwen Collects Coochie Connoisseur. But I am an owner of one myself. So I appreciate when companies actually do good anatomy and do a nice job on the sculpt. Um, Cause I have a few that it's just like a line or even on my one Daiki figure, it's just nothing. Like there's no, it's just Barbie doll vibes. Um, so I really appreciate when companies do a good job and they did a extremely, extremely good job here. I will say that. Obviously I can't show you on my channel, but extremely good job. Probably the best sculpt I've ever seen of a, um, of a Kuchi. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put these back on so I can show you guys this absolutely stunning girl from the front. Uh, wow. She was kind of an interesting, it's like a balancing act to get it on her. Cause it doesn't actually like, it just attaches kind of like, cause she's like bending her legs. I don't know how to explain it, but 
basically the the undies just kind of go like this and they just kind of like rest on there's no they don't like attach on the sides or anything um wow those look so good wow wow she looks absolutely freaking stunning her skin looks absolutely gorgeous um it's not super orange or anything it's just like this beautiful beautiful skin tone um here is her tail got very cute ears i love the piercing on her one ear that's so amazing and cute so i i get it she's like an egyptian theme um which i think is absolutely gorgeous Oh my god, she's so freaking stunning. I'm shaking putting her together right now. Binding figures have my heart, man. They're just so gorgeous. Like, they can just make a good figure. That's all I gotta say. Uh, so it will lay down on the ground. Like so. Ah, oh, easy. Easy money. Maybe? Yeah, that's definitely the way it's supposed to go in. Am I putting this in right? I've got to be putting it in right. Is that in right? I feel like it's supposed to be flatter. Why am I literally the worst at putting figures together? Makes figure collecting channel, but can't actually assemble figures. <laughs> My life. Okay. And here we have her, you guys. Probably the most gorgeous bunny in my collection. The, this is Anubis? Oh, Bastet. This is Bastet. This is the Bastet 1 4th Binding Casino version figure. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. This is incredibly generous. Uh, what? Excuse- like, uh, what? Um, this figure is absolutely gorgeous. Like, every part of it is perfect. She's gonna look so good. Even with Eureka, like I'm just imagining them together right now. I can't wait to put her up there. And I've actually been dying to get my hands on a second kneeling bunny to put with my bunnies. Cause I feel like there's like a missing spot where a kneeling or laying down bunny should go. And this has answered like all my prayers for one. Thank you so much um, to the wonderful person that sent me this. I'm gonna go message you right now. Thank you. Uh, I'm so excited about it. And yeah, I'm like emotional now. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this figure. I can't believe it's in my collection. Like, are you serious? Like, I'm just in awe. Like, these figures people send to me are just the most special things in the world to me. Like, they're just so special and amazing. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. <laughs> if you can't tell how happy I am. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to go be like, Mom, Dad, check out this amazing figure someone sent to me. And then it's this one. <laughs> A little bit lewd, but <laughs> my parents are used to it by now. <laughs> Oh my god, I love her shoes. Did, I said that when I first opened her up. That was like the first thing my eyes went to were just like her absolutely gorgeous shoes. They're so stunning. Oh, and the paint job on her outfit. I guess I didn't actually give like my thoughts on it. Um, literal perfection in every sense. Uh, I love like her cuffs, how they have like that eye, that Egyptian kind of eye symbol and just how it's like carried through the rest of the figure. I love her like alternative outfit. I love that you can see her stomach and her abs. Um, I love that she's wearing thigh highs instead of tights. Like, she's just so cool. And her face is just like, I know I'm hot. I know I'm amazing. I know I'm the best bunny figure you've ever seen. Um, oh my god. They did such a wonderful job on her. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A million times thank you. Um, I will display her with pride and I will keep her postcard very close to my heart. Uh, That's my first native postcard, so thank you for that as well. Um, yeah, I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and thank you to everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing these figures. What do you think? Would you have absolutely died like I just did opening this up and seeing that box? My binding figure collectors out there, you know how good this figure is. You know how coveted this figure is. I can't believe it's in my collection right now. So thank you.
<laughs> thank you so much. Uh, I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.